Honda City 1.5 cc The problem of this car is that while driving the car in running condition the engine stops suddenly. When the engine start stops, the engine cranks immediately but the engine cannot be started. After waiting for 5 to 10 minutes the car engine can be started and the car can be driven. Car battery and alternator charging voltage is ok. What is the cause of this problem, how to solve this problem? So watch the full video, inshallah you will be able to repair it. SCS Automotive. On behalf of this channel, I wish you all the best wishes and congratulations. And turn the ignition switch to the on position to check the fault code. To find the problem with this car I would first check with scan computer auto land scan 3 to see if there are any fault codes. Now click read float code to see engine code. The engine code is P0336CKP, crankshaft position, sensor noise. Possible causes of the P0336 code include a defective crankshaft position sensor, crankshaft trigger ring issues, and crankshaft position sensor connector issues. Some symptoms of the P0336 code include an illuminated check engine light, a hard starting or cranking engine, and hesitation during acceleration or car stalls wheel driving. I will test the CKP, crankshaft position, sensor noise signal with a scan computer. To check, click scan computer day to istrim while driving the car. The crank soft position sensor signal does not make noise when the car is parked with the engine started. When driving the car, see if the crankshaft position sensor signal makes noise. CKP sensor noise causes the C signal to drop down because the CKP sensor is not working properly. When the engine slow down while driving, sometimes the car engine stops starting, when the engine stops, there is a problem in starting because the CKP sensor is not working properly. How to locate the crank soft position sensor, first pull the hood release handle up to open the front bonnet hood. The crankshaft position sensor on a Honda City 1.5 is usually a cylindrical part on the timing cover near the crank pulley or on the side of the block that is inserted into the block. To change the crankshaft position sensor, the sensor must be opened first, so unscrew this 10mm screw and remove the wire from the sensor socket. I will remove the old crankshaft position sensor attached to the car engine and install this new crankshaft position sensor that I have on hand. First, open the socket of the cable and remove the 10mm size screw to take out the sensor. I will install this new sensor and tighten the screw of 10mm size. After installing this new sensor and now plug it into its socket. The installation of this new sensor is complete. Now I will go inside the car to clear the engine code using the scan computer Roto Land Scan 3. Turn the ignition switch to the on position to clear the engine code. To clear the engine fault code I would first click on, clear fault code. Press enter to clear the all fault code. Engine press enter to continue, then click for read fault code. Ok done clear the fault code now is no fault code. Now I will start the car engine. After restarting the car engine I will now drive the car and see if there are any more problems. Inshallah there is no more problem now, if you have any problem understanding after watching the video please comment. Best wishes and congratulations.